What's better than NBA style? NBA All-Star style. Check out the latest trends straight from New Orleans. Log on to NBA.com slash style and tune in to TNT All-Star Sunday for NBA style presented by Samsung Galaxy. Sunday at 630 Eastern. Well, that Staples Center has seen some great basketball, but this year, Mike, Lakers are 14th out of 15 teams, a lot of injuries. Mike D'Antoni has had to navigate that. Where is this franchise, do you think, at it? Boy, that's a, a big, big question right there, because when you deal with Mike D'Antoni, he's a very honest person in answering your questions. And he said, you know, from the coaching standpoint, the good news is this Lake organization would never think of dumping games just to have a bad record to wind up trying to get a, a good pick. He said, they've got big decisions at the All-Star break. Do they make a trade? We have a back to a lot working up that time. Do you make a trade that can help for the future and kind of give up on the rest of the season? For example, do you get rid of a Kyle Gasol type of talent? Or do you believe that you can have Kobe Bryant, Kyle Gasol, Nash back together again, add a piece next year? They're not overly excited about what's out there in that free agent market this coming year and kind of have enough to get through next year as well and then see what's available money-wise, contract-wise. And the train deadline, Mike, is coming up here not too long down the road. February 20th, Pau Gasol, his name has been bandied around and of course he is battling a right groin strain, getting platelet therapy. They think he's going to come back uh, perhaps after the All-Star break as Jackson tried to maneuver and was fouled. So what you're saying is they could go one of two ways and, and try to figure out as they assess. And you talked about big names on the trading block. Here are some names that have kind of crossed the path of a lot of uh, NBA beat writers over the last month or so. Yeah, the Knicks have a decision. Do they think they can keep Carmelo or is it time to get as much as you can for him? Same thing as we saw there with the but Lakers Lowry having a sensational year for Toronto right now, but will they pay him the money he's expecting? Pau Gasol is a great player. One of the best, most skilled players in the league right now at the big man position. But you have to make a decision. There are some weaknesses he might have. Transition defense, get back down the floor a little bit quicker. People have said he should be a better rebounder. He's a, he's a 10 rebound my like guy, a little bit over 10 rebound. Averages a double-double. He's had a very solid year making a comeback from his injuries of other seasons. A lot of teams would win with Alcasol. Absolutely. Wesley Johnson just picked up his first personal outside plate. The fake on Jackson puts up the triple and picked up by Ibaka. Well, the Lakers have used 26 different lineups this season, amongst the most in the NBA. They've had to battle one significant injury, not the least of which certainly is Kobe Bryant, who has only played six games this entire season, as Jackson got the screen and puts in an off-balance shot, and that stops a drought of almost four minutes from the field for Oklahoma City. Let's give the Lakers defense some credit, because all they do is kind of pick on it most of the time, saying they don't stop anybody. They've done a good job here. Hill with another face-up jump shot. Think of all the injuries, Kobe gone, Jordan Farmer, Xavier Henry, Pau Gasol, Jody Meeks is out, Nick Young, Steve Nash, who came back for a couple games, out again. And Ibaka, who continues to shoot the ball well, in fact, is any big man right now. Last 16 games, 61% for the four, averaging 18 points a game. He's had a great run. So he was effective the defense at that, that time, changing came his shot as well. A free Durant. Hill will get it. Okay, if I can go back to the statement about deciding which way to go for the Lakers. Mm -hmm. uh, let me use Dallas as an example. They had a core of veteran players, Vince Carter, you know, Sean Marion, Dirk Nowitzki, and they keep plugging guys in there that keep them good enough during the playoff race. That's what I was referring to next year for the Lakers. Plug in, surround the veteran core, go from there. along with uh